In a time where the term ARG has become synonymous with any series of videos containing binary code or any other form of cryptic messages and glitched imagery, rare is it to find one so well made and genuinely disturbing that it sends shivers down your spine and causes the hairs on the back of your neck to stand up. Imagine my excitement then, when friend and fellow creator Things That Go Bump, link to his channel in the description below, pointed me in the direction of one such ARG. An ARG that currently, at the time of writing this, has a total of one subscriber on YouTube, that being me, and roughly 500 followers on Twitter, where this ARG mostly plays out, and is actively running right now. I am Night Terror and I'm extremely excited to invite you all to join me as we take a first look at the story so far of what could possibly be one of the most exciting ARGs I've witnessed in recent months. Camera SD Card Camera SD Card is the name of a Twitter account that was created in December 2018, around the time I started my channel. Now. I know what you're thinking. Night Terror, how do we know this isn't something you've made? Well I can assure you, I don't have the time, resources or creativity to put anything like this together. And well, you're just going to have to take my word for it. The story begins with our main character, who we'll simply refer to as MC since we do not currently know his actual name, claiming that they have finally received their camera back after supposedly lending it to someone. MC also states that the SD card in the camera is broken and that they can't get it to work. The MC says they have a friend, who we'll simply refer to as the friend, who's going to take a look at the card for them. Having sent the card to the friend, we learn that it contains 144 video files and that there are other files and folders on the card too that aren't shown on the camera's menu. The friend believes that these files and folders have been added to the camera manually and not filmed directly on the device itself. MC then proceeds to show us several videos that the friend was able to recover from the SD card, none of which MC claims to have recorded themselves. These include footage of what appears to be a hatch into an attic, a forest at night, and someone wearing rubber gloves, wrapping a VHS in duct tape. The friend then claims that while they were unable to directly upload the fourth video on the SD card, they were able to record it from their phone. In it we can see various spliced clips of forest scenes, people walking through the forest, a dog, someone opening a package with scissors, and most disturbingly, at the very end of the clip, we see what appears to be either a human head or some sort of mask in a bag. The next video the friend sends features a figure wearing a mask that appears to be made from newspaper. Take a look. After being sent a video of what we can assume is a mask inside a black plastic bag, the friend tells MC that they can't sleep as they're scared by the dreams that they've been having after watching the footage from the SD card. The friend then sends MC a video of someone creating the same paper mache mask that we previously saw, and then a video of someone wearing a similar, but different mask. The friend tells MC that he thinks the folders on the SD card and videos within them are taken by different people. He also says that there are lots of folders, all with other types of media inside too. After seeing more footage of the masked character covered in blood, MC tells us that he received a call from his friend in the middle of the night with directions to meet him. However, he says that he went there, but his friend didn't show up. The MC tries to contact the friend, but to no avail, until MC then receives an audio clip. 
I listened to this clip several times as well as running it through a spectrogram but was unable to find anything obvious. Interestingly, after this the friend sends MC a video titled, Waiting. I assume at this point that both MC and the friend were at different locations waiting for each other to show up. This next video is the point at which I began to think that this ARG could really turn into something quite special. Have a look for yourself. The friend sends MC a series of messages that clearly show they're extremely scared, that they're not sleeping, and that the video he just sent with the masked figure is the same as a dream that he's been experiencing. He then sends MC a link to an article about scientists filming your dreams, and says he's scared to be alone in the flat. MC tells the friend that they've been trying to figure out what the thing in the video is, that they've even checked local fancy dress shops that sell masks, but unfortunately found nothing. We're next treated to a series of videos that show a bath full of blood being washed away, the same masked man from before being covered in blood, and subsequently showing us the paper mache mask. After this, MC tells us that the friend claims some of the files on the SD card are links to dark web videos. He also tells us that the friend has claimed there was a figure standing outside their house, looking at the door from the street, and that they're going to stay with people outside of the city for a while, as they've been experiencing several disturbing things. A few days go by, and MC then receives a message from the friend, claiming that they're going to continue checking out the SD card, but that they're not coming home anytime soon. The friend then sends video footage of the figure that was standing outside their flat a few days prior, to which MC asks the friend how that footage could have got on the SD card, but they don't know. MC then tells us that he's just found out that whoever had his camera last has now gone missing, which he follows up by posting a video of a figure lying on the floor in a mask being dragged away. We then learn that the friend is going to be returning to the city, and a few days later, hear that the friend woke up to find himself at the bottom of their stairs with a torch, camera, and fresh bruises. We're then given a video titled, Deja Vu. Have a look. MC decides to go over to the friend's house in an attempt to ensure the friend's safe, however claims that no one was home and no lights were on. Shortly after, MC receives a letter in the mail, apparently from the friend, asking MC to meet up the following day at 8pm, however we later learn that MC didn't go as he was feeling unwell. MC receives a follow up letter saying that they waited as long as they could and that they need to meet up urgently. We learn that the friend appears to be experiencing disturbing things again, and they send MC a video of a figure standing at their front door, which disappears when they go to open it. At this point, a few days go by until we hear from MC again. This time, on the 10th of March, MC receives a package in the mail that appears to be the VHS that was being wrapped at the beginning of all of this. Shortly after, MC receives a message from a mysterious Twitter user stating that they should not have ended up with the SD card, and that, as a result, MC is now being followed by something very dark. The friend gets in touch again and says that they had arrived home at their flat only to find that it had been ransacked, and that they've now found somewhere else to stay. MC now decides to open the parcel they receive and shows us that it does indeed contain the VHS from earlier, 
However, it contains no tape, and instead conceals a piece of paper with the words work in progress written on. After this, MC receives a series of tweets from a user on Twitter called Skidlink1 saying, I'm trapped. My ability to communicate is difficult. It's dangerous here. Like a hunt that knows its prey, but observes while the servile commits the acts. It's a chain. It's endless. Skidlink1 proceeds to send MC a series of videos titled Animals, Luna, Lane, Drive and Hunt. MC then receives a letter from the friend asking who the hell Skidlink is and why MC included those videos. They also say that they're getting a new phone soon. Our journey so far ends with MC receiving a text message from the friend claiming they have a new mobile now, that they're back on the road with their laptop again, and that they're going to get back to checking the card media. MC signs off by saying they're glad to hear the friend's okay, and that they look forward to continue working on the card. So that's the story so far of Camera SD Card. There was a lot to digest there, so I highly recommend you go over and take a look at the Twitter and YouTube accounts. I'll leave links in the description below. What are your thoughts on this ARG so far? Let me know in the comments. I can honestly say that the combination of found footage on a corrupted SD card, mysterious figures donning disturbing masks, cult-like behaviour, strange visions and dreams and the introduction of this new character Skidlink all have me extremely intrigued and I personally can't wait to see what else this ARG has in store for us and I'm looking forward to covering the rest for you all. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay up to date with my content as I release it. Before I go, I just want to say a huge thank you to every single person that's subscribed to this channel so far and all of the content creators and fans on Twitter that have helped me grow to this point. In such a short space of time, just over three months, we've managed to reach over 1,000 subscribers on this channel, something which I never thought was possible. I've met some fantastic creators and made some amazing friends, and I can't wait to bring you guys more content. I'm planning to make a video for my 1,000 subscriber special where I talk to you guys candidly about why I made the channel, what I plan to do with it in the future, and perhaps might have a little surprise for you all. So if you're interested in seeing that, please make sure that you're subscribed and have that notification bell clicked. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe.